Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee and on my channel I do refashioning projects of old or even new clothing. I also do outfits of the week where I film six different outfits and I upload that on a weekend, usually yesterday. Sew and Tell and that is covering topics around fashion and sewing. I also do sewing techniques and there's lots and lots of sewing techniques on my channel so just hit that search button and put in the information that you're looking for and finally I do sewing lookbooks that is where I design draft pattern and then construct the garment and then show it to my community and if you're into that sort of thing consider subscribing and let's get started Today's outfit. So this is leftover fabric from the dress that I designed and pattern drafted on Saturday. And this would have been just left in my stash. So I'm quite happy that I was able to get a little skirt out of it. It's elasticated at the waist. Give it a bit. So what I'm doing, I'm trying to make sure that I don't have large pieces of fabric left over from any project. So um, I don't have, you know, a huge collection anymore. I used to have a very big collection of fabrics. It's slowly getting depleted, and which I'm totally happy about. And I'm making sure that they do have large pieces then I'm making something out of it, such as the example of the skirt or, you know, some kind of camisole top. So I've got a chocolate card. I also have this on today as well. So what I have done is the weather, the sun's out. Um, it may have rained last night. It looks as though it, it has actually because the ground is wet. Um, and the weather forecast, it's going to be lots of showers today apparently. So um, I'm wearing my cropped cardigan, making sure I've got the sleeves up. Um, very minimal jewellery. I've just got, let me just show you this jewellery. Just this, this love heart, this chocolate love heart, chocolate coloured, which matches my chocolate coloured cardigan and my bag and a bit of a little bit of chocolate detail in my shoes. So um, what I have done is I've crossed it over, so I haven't put it straight up. So I've crossed it over and I'm wearing it with this belt. And what I have done is I've kind of put the belt buckle to the side for where the crossover is happening here. And it's a good trick this, that if you are a person who has large breasts and you don't want attention to that area, one of the best ways to actually lessen the tension, <laughs> the attention is to, if you, if you enjoy wearing belts that is, is to put the buckle detail across your cardigan over rather than having it in the center because in the center you can kind of like line here and then you've got you know large boob section going on on um, and what you can do if you enjoy wearing belts is just put the buckle to a side so it draws attention from you know the main area that you don't want attention to just slightly just a little tip there and um, but i enjoy wearing my belts like this whenever I can and um, just to be a bit different and you know just to draw attention to oh the belt the buckle or the belt is kind of off center and the sleeves are coming to the same length more or less as my cardigan and I've got no jewelry on I did try my bangles but um I didn't feel like it no, I just don't feel like it. I suppose sometimes fashion is about mood, isn't it? How you're feeling. So, yeah, that's it. And like I said, I've got my bag. I haven't got it as a clutch style. I'm, I'm definitely be using the handle rather than the clutch. On Saturday, it suited the dress as a clutch rather than using the handle. But now, this is the way I will be wearing it today. So that is Monday's outfit. I said I've got no jewellery on, I've just tied my hair back. And yeah, 
That's it. Now let me just explain this outfit. It's cold. It's the middle of August, and it's supposed to be British summer time, and it's cold. And I like to plan about three outfits in advance, so you know, I'm just thinking like it's gonna be nice and sunny, and I'm gonna wear these outfits. So I would have just wore the top and the jeans, but I need a cardigan, it's too cold. So I've got a bit of a, what do you call, a mashup or a kind of grunge look going on. So I've got this cardigan and um, I've crossed it over, put a silver belt on because I don't think I've got a white belt over there, a white belt. Anyway, and um, I can't, the cardigan would actually cover the frills of my top, but I love my frills of my top. So I decided to pull it up a bit and cross it over. And I'm wearing it with these loose white pants. I was gonna wear white boots because it is wet outside. Um, but I decided what I'll do is, I'll just carry the grungeness from here all the way down to there, my feet, because I was gonna wear white boots. So if you want the legs to be longer than consider wearing white boots or you know whatever colour scheme you're going for that gives you illusion that your legs are a lot longer but um no i'm sticking with these and i'll show you the back and i've got my yeah you guessed it silver bag i'm gonna wear that across my body like so it's continuing with the grunginess feeling comfortable that and then even more grungy that aviation aviation glasses with nautical look I mean grungeness or what so yeah that's how I'm going to be wearing this outfit today okay today's outfit I'm not even gonna talk about the weather I'm just gonna say I'm wearing a jumper. That's it. I'll just step back. So I'm in polka dot, white polka dots from red. Some same fabric as the outfit I wore yesterday. And um, yeah, I'm not going to mention whether, I'm not going to mention it. And I'm wearing a white jumper. Now, this jumper is a refashion that I've been experimenting on. I didn't really want to wear this with this top. Actually, I prefer to wear this top just on its own to tell you the truth. But um, it's cold, so I'm going to stay warm. And I don't really have, I only have one other white top, but it's quite long and it's quite baggy. And it just didn't, it was too fussy, it was just too much. So um, I had to wear this one. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep my working, um, my outfits of the week as real as possible. I will be wearing this today, um, even though I may slightly feel uncomfortable with it, and, and I'll show you the reason why in a moment. But let me just talk about the jeans. Now I'm wearing white jeans, and yesterday I mentioned that I was possibly going to wear my white boots, um, but I didn't. And I'm wearing my white boots today, and I told you about if you wore the same colour footwear as your pants or jeans, it can give the illusion of your legs a bit longer. So I'll start with that first. So these are really long length jeans. I didn't make the jeans. As you know, I don't, I don't, I don't make my jeans. So um, I've got white boots on with a black heel and a black sole. So you can see it just elongates the legs and makes them look a lot, a lot longer compared to what I was wearing yesterday where my, shirt, my pants were a little bit more cropped. My cat, I think he's gonna make an appearance any moment now. <laughs> Wants to steal the show from me. <laughs> uh, Mountains of pets, eh? Anyway, um, so yeah, so as you can see, that my, my legs look a lot longer compared to my outfit yesterday where the pants were cropped and you can see a bit of my ankles and then you can see my white footwear, but which, which is totally fine. It's a cute look. It really is a cute look. It kind of reminds me of a very nautical look. So yeah, I'm happy with the way my pants are and my footwear. And, and 
with this top. So this is my top. I made you the top first and then made the second. This is kind of like leftover bits from the first top. And um, I was just playing around with it on the stand and I came up with something like what you see now. Um, I kind of, there's a couple of wings here. <laughs> you can call them wings. That's just thrown over my shoulder like so. It's not meant to be like that though. Um, but I'm gonna tell you the reason why it's like that at the moment. And it won't stay like that all day either. But, um, You've seen the back, I think it's such a cute detail. And the front, now let me explain the front. So if I do this, this time it will happen. Can you see? <laughs> it's meant to fall like this. But I'm trying to hide the details in my top that I've been experimenting, but this is the only white top that I have. And I wanted to wear a white top, even though I've got a couple of red tops and orange red tops, I wanted to wear white. So, it doesn't look nice, does it? It's, it's, it's just so distracting. So, I just have to do that. Which is not bad. You know, it's, it's okay. It's gonna do what it wants to do until I get myself a white polo neck. I think it will really look nice here. Probably have to make it because I'd like it to be super long. Um, long sleeves. So yeah, and I do like all this what's happening here, this asymmetricalness and volume that's at the side. I used to wear a lot of clothing similar to this kind of drape and effect when I was a bit younger, but no, I think it's super cute still, but this is not gonna stay, because as I'm talking to you, you can see that this one's already fallen. This is most likely to stay a little bit longer, but eventually it will fall. But um, no, um, I think it's gonna be a case for me where I will be just monitoring how it falls. And yeah, not that I'll be wearing this top with it when I wear this again. But sometimes when you're experimenting with your clothes and your design skills and your pattern drafting skills, it is a case that you do monitor how garments form your body so that you can make adjustments for when you're making your next pack. The sun has just come out <laughs> and I've decided to dress like this. But I can guarantee it's still cold. It's still windy and wet outside. So, um, yeah, it's making an appearance. And I just, anyway, I'm layering up. In my opinion, autumn is coming real soon, like the weekend, because I will be sorting out my autumn and winter clothing and making that transition to um, to wear my summer wear. So, um, yeah. So I've got this uh, linen jacket I wore this a couple of weeks back and also the pants with a different outfit. And I'm wearing them today because the outfit I planned to have to wear was um, a bit more summery in the sense that I didn't have any sleep, well, they had short sleeves. But anyway, so um, I got a blouse and a matching tie. And yes, I did make the blouse, the jacket, and also the pants. And what I have done is, I've kind of not considered any jewellery, so that I have earrings in or rings or bangles or anything like that. So what I decided to do is accessorise my outfit with bags, a belt, a bag, a belt and the shoes and they're more or less the same colour tone as well. So I'll bring the camera down shortly. So this is, you've seen this bag before with this cute little Actually going on, and so that is how I am going to be wearing it today. In the back, the back, the, the belt, um, it's kind of got this animal print effect on it, and um, the shoes you've also seen before as well. I've worn these a couple of times, even though it's wet outside. Yeah, I'm still good. I'm, I'm not. I'm not prepared to put my ankle boots or any boots on just yet. Um, maybe I'm waiting until it's officially autumn or winter. But um, no, I'm just giving my shoes a uh, good wearing, as they say, while the weather is okay. 
and I will be just put back there wearing these glasses like that. I'll just wander over. And yeah, that's it. And my bag. Outfit. I think it's official. It's autumn now. <laughs> Middle of August and it's, yeah. Well, I'm taking out my knitwear now. So over the weekend, I'm just gonna put all my summer clothing away and take out my autumn and winter clothing. So I started with this whole knit here. So um, I'm wearing a pole neck and these pants that I like made and I think I spotted these a couple of weeks ago and I think I did with these shoes as well. So yeah, even though know, it's very rainy, I am wearing these shoes. So it's just pants and a top and gradually I see the weeks will get colder and wetter and I'll be putting more layers on. So the jewellery, it's a simple and the bang, a bangle is to put the colour from in here and I decided to go with that bangle. The belt is very old, um, it's in the belt I've got that's more or less this colour as well so yeah, um, that's it. I'm going to be teaming it with this bag. So we've got textures going on here and animal print textures as well to my bag and my shoes. Yeah, and even though I don't think it's going to be any sunshine today, yeah, I'm going to be wearing my glasses. I used them yesterday, if you believe. So yeah, they're, quite, they're okay actually, they're not very dark, so I wanted to just have my half day. <laughs> I could do. <laughs> So that is my outfit for today. Outfit of the week. Final outfit of the week. Denim jacket and some jeans. And no, I didn't make a jacket or the jeans. Um, so I'm wearing a white camisole underneath, and I've got my pearl necklace on. I popped up my collar so that I look cool, and you can have the back. This jacket was a little bit on the bigger side for me. So what I actually did was just taking it at the side seams to about here and then just left the hip area like this. I just like the shape. I think it's cute. And I just give it a good steam. So it got super long sleeves. As you know, that's what I like. And it's just my regular straight leg jeans. And I'm wearing my silver shoes. And, oh, you won't want to with the bag. Yeah, it's a silver bag, <laughs> making another appearance. Um, yeah, what can I say? <laughs> you know, it's, it's occasion where you just have that go-to bag all the time and it's just like screaming out to you, even though you've got a whole collection of bags on your shelf, you just think, you know, I could choose something else, they're really cool. But I just want to spot the silver bag, it's probably because I've never really had um, a silver bag. There was never, yeah, there's never any silver bags when I was growing up or anything like that. So the fact that you can get like metallic colours and stuff, yeah, when I first started sewing, it wasn't that much around. 
So anyway, I'm digressing. So yeah, so I've got my bag and I've shortened the strap, so I'm all the might will just, I won't put it across my body because I don't want to spoil the alignment of my jacket. And the more than likely will be carrying it in my hands and swinging it as I walk. And yeah, that's it. Oh, glasses. Yeah, I've got glasses. Sunglasses today. The weather is, the sun has made an appearance a couple of times, but um, yeah, I don't think summer is here anymore. <laughs> so um, I'm wearing these glasses. And I'm just gonna wear them as a hair accessory. So they will be on top of my head for most of the day. That is where it will be. And that's it. That's my outfit for today. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of my outfits of the week, please do give it a thumbs up and please do share. If you want to subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell in order to receive notifications. And I will see you next time.